Hi guys, welcome to The Witch's Voice, and I'm the Friday host, Lucilla 1980. And this week's topic is possession by deity, by any deity or any god. And if we've ever experienced it, or if you've ever seen it, or anything of that nature. Now, I have never, um, to start off with the topic, uh, I have never been, um, that I know of, possessed by anything. Um, I have felt um, spirits or entities or a divine force around me, but I've never felt it within me in a in 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 the way that the topic is meant for, uh, or or meant to uh, or speaking of. Now I have seen people being possessed by uh, deities, uh, mainly because I I have a, a friend who is a um, a santero. And he has taken me to some of the Santero um, parties and rituals, and um, at those you will see if you ever go to one. It's actually a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. It's a it's a, it's a blast. Um, if you really want to see a, a really cool party, it will go crazy. <laughs> um, but basically, what they do is that they uh, do a ritual, and the ritual is very simple. It doesn't even look like a ritual. Basically, what it is is that they have a uh, a group of guys uh, playing uh, traditional um, <clears throat> traditional instruments, which are basically like drums and uh, like a cowbell type ob uh, type thing, and um, they'll sing songs and play music. And thing is that the songs that they sing aren't just any kind of song. It there is um, one song for every deity that they have. And depending on the party, or because that's basically what it is, it's the party, and it's in, in honor of one of the deities. And what they'll do is that they'll start, I believe, I could be wrong, don't take my word for it. It's been a while since I've spoken to my friends. Um, they start off with the deity, or no, they start off with the, with the last deity before that deity, before the one that they're honoring. And then the last one that they, that they play, I believe, is the one that they're honoring. I think I could be wrong, don't take my word for it. I probably am. Um, but in that time that they're playing the music for each deity, um, uh, people that have been initiated go up and dance in front of the musicians, like just like you would in any kind of concert or party that they had a live band. Uh, you start dancing and it's very euphoric because after a while you start sort of swaying and you get really tired. And there are people that don't like just dance for one song. It's and each song is like about maybe 10, 15 minutes long. So it's a very long song. Uh, and you dance for as long as you can take it or as long as you want. And there's some people that dance for like four or five songs straight. Um, and the whole idea is to sort of like let go. And when you do that, it gives you like this euphoric kind of feeling. And I have felt that. I have gone to those parties. And even though traditionally you're not supposed to dance if you are not initiated, um, I spoke to my friend and he was like, go ahead, dance. Nobody's going to tell you not to because they don't know who you are. So they don't know if you are or not. And they don't, they don't like, it's not like they, you know, you don't have like a little card saying that you are or aren't. You just walk in and just dance. So I did. And I did feel like this weird sort of uh, electrical charge through my body as I'm dancing. And um, I did start um, almost, I felt almost like if I was actually coming out of my body and something else was, was uh, nearby or knocking on the door. But I, you know, like it, it takes a lot of practice to, to sort of like let go. And, and um, he's been in, in, in the religion for about, since he was like nine years old. And only in the last two years was he... Um, possessed by his actual his his main deity, um, which was for him a really a very beautiful religious experience. Um, but that's the only thing I've ever seen. I have seen uh, people that I know personally that have been uh, possessed. Like my, I never saw him him getting possessed, but I saw some of our friends uh, that they did, and then they started talking. Um, they started talking, not to me, but to like other people, and giving them like best wishes and blessings and whatnot. Because at that point, they are not themselves. 
they are literally those particular gods. And that's how the religion works. And it's, it's actually really, it's a very beautiful religion. Um, but that that's the only time that I've ever um, experienced or basically just seen it and experienced it to a certain, to a certain personal level. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I've never, other than that, I've never actually been um, possessed in any way, shape, or form, or fully, or what have you. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Um, I don't see a an issue with with being if you are if you are well aware of what you're doing and you actually have maybe somebody there to help you out because once you come out of it from what I've seen once you come out of it you're actually very tired you're very um, it's not like oh okay I'm good we're good let's 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 go out for pizza you know it doesn't work that way um, so that's my opinion so yeah cool <laughs> I'll see you guys around. I hope that that was informative and interesting. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Bye, guys.